And what about ye, we Citroen? C3 is the 1.4 petrol and customer complaint is uh, leaking coolant. This wee car was like in coolant. A guy came to me a wee while ago and uh, we discovered this thing here. You can see uh, this is the new one that I've put on. And you can see the, the orange uh, RTV silicone there. There's no gasket uh, on these. It just uh, bolts onto the side of the head. So that's, that's a, a coolant flange. That's the temperature sensor. These are the O2 cables there. And down there is the thermostat. So I discovered you could blow through the thermostat. The thermostat was stuck open, and uh, that's the, the new flange. So the one that was on it was leaking, and it was leaking from uh, this area here. So you can actually see it dripping out uh, where it was on the on the head there. Now, when, when I took this off, I discovered that these they don't seem to be a great design. You know, it's 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 not a bit of wonder the leak, but the one that was on it, it was fitted by another garage and it, uh, I discovered it was it must have been an aftermarket one because even though it fitted properly and it looks the same you can see whenever uh, we get it off uh, whenever I got it off it is off now that uh, it's it's a fairly different material that it's uh, made out of so the construction's the same but the material is different so we'll have a look at that so it's the flange it was on the car and uh, it was leaking from this area here and down in the bottom here. So that's where it was leaking from. This bit here is bolted to the head. And uh, if, we, if, I show you, if I show you, if it's in the vise, the reason why it's in the vise, I'll show you here. So if I put my hand on it here, and I'll not take too much, hopefully. Uh, we can just... You can see that deform in there pretty easily. So this thing's, you know, it's a very sort of pliable plastic. So I do have a, a genuine one here and uh, I ordered it online and uh, when it came it was broken. There was this wee bit here, it was broken off so I uh, couldn't use it. So I rang, rang the supplier up and I just sent the one out, no problem. But uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is if you look at this one here, this is this is a hard this is a very hard plastic. This is nearly like Bakelite. It's a uh, pretty, pretty stiff sort of plastic in this one. So uh, if we go over to this one here, it's almost like PVC. So it's it's pretty pliable. So I suspect this is this is an aftermarket one fitted by another garage, and uh, just whenever it pressurizes up, it's just pushing that out. Uh, the other thing as well, we can see, we can see it all deformed there, where the where the bolts were pressing in. So it just it's just basically sort of melting, really. And you see it there as well. So this 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 wasn't able to clamp on, and uh, that's where it leaks from. So there's a, an oil gallery here, and uh, that's the coolant, and that's the thermostat goes on, and the temperature sensor is on the top. There, you, can, you can see it here. That's the temperature sensor. So, yeah, that's a wee bit. That's a wee bit there. It's broken off. You can see it's sort of green color there. So we have a good one. I am fitted, and uh, I've just filled it, filled the coolant. Also, uh, I did the a timer belt and the water pump. So let me just show you that. So because this thing's been leaking, the guy's been just been topping up water, and he's he's been rattling away there, and uh, it hasn't been overheating, and that's probably because. The thermostat was stuck open, so when I take the thermostat off, you can blow through it. So there's a new thermostat on it as well there. It's uh, electronically controlled in this car. And this is this is the water pump that was in it. And uh, you'd think that would have been, uh, been the bottom of the sea there. That, now, it is spinning. It is, uh, it does seem to be, so it must have been sort of working, but it's very, very rough. It's like barnacles on it there. So, uh, yeah, that would have probably been cavitating there. Um, a lot of air bubbles around that and stuff, so it may have affected the flow as well. And there's about a hundred, I think there's a hundred and thirty-eight thousand 
in this car and there's the the time of belt so it's pretty pretty worn it's uh you can hardly even make out the writing there so yeah so is that original i don't know he tells me the other garage also at one time fitted a head gasket there was a head gasket replacement done in this car so he's decided to bring it to me because uh, whenever it started spring a leak i think he felt the garage didn't really want to know or something i think we're, they were fed up looking at it or something i don't know but uh you do you don't know what uh what the story is really you know so that's it that's the tensioner there and uh i don't know where i'll come up on camera there skf made in france so uh is that what the oe is using there an skf uh, but the fact that it's made in france that uh water pump and uh we're not out of the dom manufacturers here or whatever but uh yeah it has been running pretty lean coolant i would say and this is a melee so you'd maybe that it's possible that's changed that's been changed it doesn't say Persia citron on there and it's also been leaking as well very slightly uh so the corrosion here so uh yeah so it's pretty badly corroded there and it was starting to push it was starting to back out so you can see the red the red coolant there and uh, i can see that in the casing so it's time belt in the water pump if you're interested uh i have a video in the in the archives there on the channel uh of uh 10 belt water pump for one of these wee cars uh one exactly like this with the same engine on it it's not this one like but uh this one's in for this current flange this current like but we did that water pump as well so i'm at the stage where i'm, re I'm refilling this with current so i just thought i'd show you this this is, a, this is another method of uh filling i have a vacuum uh method as well which i have in another video but i don't think i've posted that yet but uh i just i just thought i'd show you this this is a this is a what's called a spill free funnel and it fits in there's a tap on it there and uh, that just fits in the flange various adapters and uh, the idea of this is whenever you fill this up with, with coolant and uh, you run the engine and the thermostat opens all, all that will expand this is a pressurized system and with that tap open it's open to atmosphere so the coolant will actually sort of overflow so when it, when it says spill free you'll you know you'll probably spill stuff all over the place but uh the idea is anyway that the coolant will actually it has somewhere to go so it'll actually whenever i run this engine that coolant will expand it'll go way up that funnel so it will and then when you knock the engine off and uh it starts to sort of bleed it'll it'll all settle back down again i've actually already done that and i'll maybe just demonstrate that for you on this type of engine on this wee car there is a bleed screw that is the bleed screw there on that flange and there is also a bleed bleed screw on the heater hose at the bulkhead, and uh, yeah, you can you can use that uh, as well to, to to help get the air out of it. But uh, I've I'm just trying this. I have uh, just bought this thing. I've seen uh, in in America, Lyle do like a yeah, it looks like a yellow bucket thing with a with a plug in it, and uh, a lot of guys use that. This is a, this is a, a version here. This is made by Laser. It's in the UK uh there's, there's a couple of other makers do something similar i think and uh again you can do your own research you can look it up yourself uh there's uh, there, for all it is it's a bit expensive so you know you don't really need this you know you could just persevere with it and top it up run the engine take it for a good drive and uh then you let it cool down and and top it up and that's i'll be doing that anyway here but this is this is just to help me uh this is this is just so it you know, coolant just doesn't overflow all over the place so the engine running, uh, the idea of this funnel is the uh, coolant there in the reservoir is rising as the uh, as it heats up and uh, the coolant is expanding. So this is a normally a pressure A system, there's normally a pressure cap on it there, you can see there in the picture. But uh, it's now open the atmosphere and there's a wee bleed tube on it there as well uh, that goes uh, back into the funnel again. So you can see the, uh, the thermostat must be opened and there's the coolant starting to raise. So it'll go back up into the funnel again. So uh, I'm just monitoring the temperature here as well. So that's that's told me that the thermostat has opened there. And uh, it's, pushing the, uh, it's pushing the water back up and into the funnel, as you can see. So that's, that's the idea of that. And uh, I'll just shut the engine off here and uh, we'll see the thing dropping the way down. 
Right, so the engine stopped, and uh, that as it cools down, that'll that'll drop way down. So I'll just uh, pause the video there. Okay, after a few seconds, it's starting to drop. So that'll drop back down in the bottle again, and uh, well, we'll just leave it for a moment, and then we'll be able to top it up the level, and uh, we'll put the pressure cap back on, and we'll take it for a good drive. That's it, dropping back down into the, the coolant bottle now. You can see it coming back away down again. So the idea of that is to help evacuate all the air. And uh, so the, the, the temperature went to about, it was about 90 odd degrees there with, uh, with the coolant system up in the atmosphere. So uh, we'll just let that go for a minute. Well, now it's well down into the coolant bottle, so I'll just take that funnel off and... Uh, I'll maybe just show you it. So there we go, that's it there. Uh, there's a laser number there, 5453, if you want. So it comes with these uh, adapters. But it's not just an ordinary funnel. Now, uh, you may think that's a bit overkill for what I'm doing. So if I see here, there's a, there's this sort of bypass tube, and, and that uh, goes back in. There's a wee filter there, and this is just a normal tap. You can just turn it off. Uh, if there's coolant in that, so you can lift the funnel off. So that's the the spill free idea, and uh, that goes on the top of that. Just sets in, and this thing here, then you can screw that, and it expands this bit of rubber. And you, and I had it in that adapter there. So this one here it says the size on it, thirty five mil, and you get a bag of adapters, a bag. That's what we call bags. Over here, uh, it's 31 mil. So a few different sizes there. I've used this a, a few times now. I haven't had it long. There's this sort of cone shape one. That one there fits in the in the Volkswagen uh, coolant bottles pretty well. And uh, there's a big thick one. What size is that? 45. So they they all fit on the on the end of that. So that'll also fit on, on my vacuum one that I have. But uh, I just use that one there sometimes because it's, uh, well, I've, I've, I've only had it a, a, long, a short time. I've only had it, used it a couple of times. But uh, it's actually just a wee bit handier than setting up the airline and stuff. So that's the idea of that. It, uh, it, allows, it, it allows the coolant to expand and uh, it'll drop away down. So we'll see where it's dropped to now. So while we're looking at that funnel there, it's uh, it's dropped there to the that's that's about the minimum uh, line there. So I'll uh, I'll uh, bring that up the the max. I'll just uh, pour a wee taste in and uh, put the pressure cap on. We'll get her back together again and uh, we'll take it a wee drive. And uh, we'll we'll what I do is uh, take it for a good drive, get it the get it all to circulate, and then you just you just leave it, and, uh, just let it cool down, and. Uh, You'll probably find that the, you know, it'll, it'll drop further once it cools down again. So once they once they get the whole thing, uh, flowing, the only thing to do is you make sure when you're doing that there, make sure you have the heater on hot and and maybe a, a fan speed on, uh, one or two fan speed, and that that uh, allows the coolant to go through the matrix, in the heater core and the in the inside the car. So that's to get it to circulate. So just while I'm talking here, it's it's dropped a bit. Uh, more there, it's just below the minimum line. So I'll let that go for a couple of minutes and we'll have a cup of tea and uh, we'll top that up. Okay, so after about 10 minutes there uh, from the last clip, it's dropped about another, it's about an inch below the level, it's about an inch below the minimum mark. So it's dropped down, so we'll just top her up to the max. An ordinary funnel this time, there's a traditional funnel. So that's it at the maximum mark. And we'll get our pressure cap back on again. So at the at wee demonstration there, maybe it maybe shows you the, the importance of that cap. That cap is crucial to the to these cooling systems. Uh, you maybe um, you need to make sure it's nice and uh, snug. So if that if that cap wasn't holding the pressure, if the seal was uh, bad on it or something like that. That's that, that'll just overflow uh, as you saw there. You saw how whenever the thermostat opens, the, the water expands. 
with the heat and it just uh, it just will just overflow it it'll just fly out if that uh, if that cap's no good so uh, that's that's maybe uh, showing you the importance of that uh, so it's everything's there for a reason this pressurized system as most most of them are now if uh, and any any radiator cap it'll hold about it'll be set at like 1.1 bar or something like that so there's a wee pressure relief valve on that and uh, if it overpressurizes, it will actually it will actually give way so if your car overheats and goes over, sort of over 100 degrees or something like that it'll, it'll maybe release that and uh, some cars with a traditional style radiator cap uh, it'll go into and it'll go into an overflow tank which is an, another tank this is a completely closed system so this this overflow here goes back into that expansion tank. So it's a bit like a it's a it's a, it's a closed system and uh, it's a bit like maybe closed central heating systems or something like that. You don't you don't have a header tank and uh, it's it's not it's not really a header tank. It's an expansion tank. And uh, as I say, the, the the traditional style ones with a normal type reader cap have a have an overflow tank because it does overflow into that because the the radiator cap has a a PRV in it. So there we go. I'll take this for a drive now and uh, let it cool down. And maybe get a wee wash because there's there's coolant all over the gearbox there. So uh, yeah, I think that's that's it for this one. Um, I've got the got the air box on and uh, all that while I was waiting there. So I, d I did use those wee blade screws, but uh, not really that much. So it just it just felt about well full and just had a wee bit of patience with it. So there you go, a wee bit on uh, on another maybe another method of how to how to fill a cooling system uh, without coolant going all over the place. You could just top it up and, and put the cap back on and run it and let it cool down, but the, I can you know that's doing it all there in the in the one go, really. So that's that's the idea of that that fancy funnel thing. So it may you may think it's just it just looks like an ordinary funnel, but and I think that demonstrates uh, the the advantage of it. <clears throat> right, just a wee bit extra here to just to give you an idea. We've got this thing up and wrong, and uh, if I can get that in the shot there. Let's top a radiator. I'll move it in a little bit more. Um, it's showing 98 there. It's showing 98. 100 and, there's 101. There's 102. 102 degrees there. So. These things do run quite warm. This is the importance of uh, the system being pressurized and the importance of using proper coolant. We'll look at some live data here. Uh, you can see the coolant temperature is uh, 108 up here, and uh, we're just checking to make sure the, the fans are working. So we have a fan reference value that's 26%. So uh, this should come on very shortly. but. The thermostat in this opens at 103, it's quite high. And fan speed's went the active there, and it's run at 50% there. So I can hear it in the background there running. So it's brought the temperature down slightly. Yeah, we'll is it off. So that's went to zero. So that's pretty good. So I'll just show you that in this, if I can get it in the shot. Uh, open the temperature, 103, and that's for that uh, gates thermostat. That's the, the one I put in that, that car there. Open the temperature, 103. So there we go, right? It's uh, all the best and bye-bye again. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Just before I go, uh, guys, uh, that Gates thermostat, incidentally, I have found that that is actually made by Colorstat, which is the OE one. So that is actually the OE thermostat there. So all the best. Thanks again for watching. Bye.